Good morning, and welcome to episode 98 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, president of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. I'm recording live today from Las Vegas, where we're entering our final day of the 26th Annual President's Week Conference with Joel Nagel and Mike Cobb and some wonderful lineup of speakers to include Porter Stansbury, Buck Sexton, and a whole host of others. Uh, I warned a few weeks back that we were going to have a very volatile uh, run out through the end of the year with a whole bunch of uh, uh, key indicators coming out, a whole bunch of events coming out that were going to move markets one way or another. And boy, I was not kidding. So last week, we saw the midterm elections. It looks like that picture is becoming more and more clear. Uh, the uh, Senate is clearly in the hands of the Democrat Party, uh, with currently 50 senators and the tie-breaking vote. So regardless of what happens in the December runoff in Georgia, uh, that will be in the hands of the Democrats. And it was announced yesterday that the House, by a very slim majority, is now going to fall into the hands of the Republicans. So there will be a divided Congress going forward. Uh, yesterday, some missiles uh, hit Poland. There were some fears that these were Russian missiles and it would bring in the broader NATO forces into this conflict. As of this morning, as the situation develops, it looks like these were not, in fact, Russian missiles. And more to follow, obviously, that tense situation develops. Uh, the PPI figures uh, came out yesterday. Uh, PPI for uh, the October reading was 8.0%. That follows up the CPI, the Consumer Price Index reading last week of 7.7%. Both figures were a little bit below the previous month's reading, but both are still persistently high near the 8% mark from last year, year on year. And then yesterday, former President Trump uh, went ahead and announced his candidacy for the 2024 elections. With all of this going on, I can tell you the markets are moving. So let's go ahead and take a look at the markets. Uh, gold uh, this morning is at 1,780.79 per ounce. Uh, that's up 4.2% from last week at 1,709.20. Silver is up 2.4% to $21.91, almost $22 from $21.39 last week. Platinum's up 1.4% to $1,022. That's up $14 from $1,008 an ounce last week. And palladium is up 8.6% to $2,174 an ounce from $2,002 last week. With gold outperforming silver, the gold-silver ratio is up slightly to 81.60 from 80.23 last week. And the dollar, which was not very long ago pushing 117 to 119 on the dollar index, is down to 106.10. We will continue to watch the dollar as things move forward. Again. All these things are going on. We are not done yet. Uh, there's going to be plenty of news between now and the end of the year, and I would expect the volatility to continue, albeit it looks like gold and silver are starting to move up from their bottom. Still too early to tell, but still fantastic prices to get in and increase or start your uh, gold and silver holdings. Uh, just want to remind everybody that we've got a fantastic webinar, our fourth quarter on the move webinar will be happening this coming Monday, so in less than a week, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, myself and my co-host Adrian Day of Adrian Day Asset Management will be welcoming none other than Porter Stansbury. I just met with Porter the past couple days here in Las Vegas. We're both looking forward uh, to sharing our insights with you next week uh, and answering any questions you might have. Please go ahead and in this email uh, that accompanies this video, sign up if you haven't already. Uh, you need to, to listen to what Porter has to say. We're gonna cover two major topics uh, uh, that are on his mind, dealing with both energy concerns and a little bit of uh, distressed debt. 
So we've got a lot to talk about. Join us 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday for On The Move. And uh, as always, please go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe to the, our YouTube channel. Uh, like us, send us your comments and questions so we can answer them on the air. Uh, also subscribe to our social media and our newsletters, uh, whether they be the twice weekly alerts or the one, once monthly information line. And also, don't ever forget that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.